Welcome back team, and today I have an amazing upper body workout for you. Hit plus Pilates, get ready to burn some serious calories, grab your water, and let's crush it. Right, team. So let's begin this workout super strong with cardio block slash the warm up. Your first warm up exercise is a rotation to knee lift, all one side. Join me when you're ready. All the way, guys. One minute work, 30 second rest. Today, for the 30 seconds, we're gonna be doing quick tricep. So rotate good and lift that knee. Rotate, lift, rotate, and lift. All the way, guys. All right, we're gonna wake up our body without weights. And this is only one block from six of the hit style we have today, which doesn't have a weight. So we have six hit blocks total. And then we're gonna move to our Pilates portion. That's gonna be exciting and it's gonna be challenging. So you have to work for it as always. But at the end, it's gonna feel so happy. All right, guys, good rotation. Don't drop those elbows. Make sure those elbows Nice and high, 90 degrees. We're almost through this first minute. And bring up a little bit speed in the house, if you can. A few seconds. Last one, tricep, guys, quick tricep. Next exercise, doesn't need demo because we're gonna be doing exactly the same thing. My beginners, do less. Less is more, but with a good quality. Come on back up. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing while well, we're gonna do it from the other side. So I'm gonna rotation and knee leap. Join me when you're ready. All in the position. And it's three, two, one. Let's crush this. One, back, rotation, lift. When you do your knee lift, make sure you go across that knee all the way outside. So you target your back, your waistline, entire body as always we do the targeted workouts right like this one no more back fat really amazing back workout combination of the hit and the lattice. but of course we do target the entire body for the best results rotation all the way don't stop big one rotate kick it rotate knee lift you've got this we're almost through guys almost through a few seconds left that's it. All right, I hope your body is waking up because mine is waking up for sure. All right. Finish strong. Four. Big one. That's it, last one, guys. We've got this tricep push up. A lot of tricep. Just 10 to 15 seconds, so we have time for the transition. Should you choose to walk around your mat in your 30, Second transition, totally fine. Your next exercise, guys, is gonna be your burpee or step back to plank, then to your bear. On the position, guys. In a few seconds, get yourself together for the best form possible. Here we go, my beginners. Step back. You don't have to hop. I'm gonna show you in a second. Quick step. You don't have to hop to your bear as well. So do your steps. I'm gonna stick with a hop waking up waking up this is on the only single blue guys with no weight i'm going to be using eight pounds today for the main part of the workout for the next five blocks you can use lighter weights you can definitely use heavier one but for this style of the workout we're going pretty quick so five to add to eight pounds is a decent weight. You will see it yourself, but you definitely can do the lighter weight as a two pound, one and a half pound, or use any other equipment you have. Water bottles, for example, if you don't have your dumbbells yet, it shouldn't stop you. All right, try some guys. And then we're gonna have a longer break. Few seconds. Give me a few more tricep push-ups. One more. Excellent. All right, come on up. Drink your water, grab your weights quickly. Again, I'm using for today workout eight pounds. 
your first exercise with the dumbbells today. It is gonna be your simple bent over row, guys. But I need to see. Stomach in, long and extended back. Get ready, guys. Set, here we go. Neutral grip. When your elbows sliding right along your back. Try to go to the decent bent over position. Pull your stomach in. Do not drop your shoulders. Bring the good speed in the house, but the speed which does not interfere with those forms. On the way back, guys. We never, ever, ever, you know what I'm gonna say, right? Dropping the weight, we push and pull. Pull, push, pull, push. Give me full range of motion. Stay with me, breathe. We're finishing together. All the way. Good job. Finish strong, guys. Good form, soft knees. No weights on your toes. Weight on the heels. Push your heels into the ground. One more. We did it. All right. Come on down for your tricep. You can choose to do just a static plank or walk around your mat, guys. Your next exercise. Bend over position, neutral grip row to your fly, guys. Neutral grip row to your fly. That's gonna look like this. You're gonna go one row and one fly. Get ready. Set on the position. We got this. Other side. This is a little bit more challenging without some flies. Make sure, guys, when you go for that fly, whatever set of dumbbells, whatever weights you use it, it's a good quality fly. Elbow, soft. Try not to lift it with the wrist. We activate bicep, tricep, lat, and entire side of the back, the arm you're using. That's it. Trapezius as well, come on. Go, 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 go. Stomach in. Don't let your body to lose the form. We got this. Almost through. This is a good one. I love it. That's it. Almost got lost. Couple seconds. We've got it done together. Awesome work. All right. Come on back down, guys, for your tricep. Just a few tricep push ups or choose to walk around your mat. Do your best, guys. Even one on two triceps would be really, really good. All right, come on back. Your next exercise. Wide grip, guys. To the elbow, to the torso squeeze. All right, we work in the entire surface of the back, including our obliques, internal and external. That's it. Bend over position, guys, good quality. Bend over position. Finish each and every movement. You've got this. That is perfect, guys, come on. That's it, good job. Lift, roll, back, lift. I can feel those eight pounds for sure. That's it. All right. Few seconds left. Stick till the end with me, till the very end. Pull and push, we never drop the weights. That is it. You've got this couple more seconds, guys. Don't drop the shoulders on the release. That's perfect. Amazing work, guys. All right, congratulations. Tricep push up. We just have completed our second block of the workout and the first block with the dumbbells. Stay with me. That's it. And one more tricep push up. You can do it. All right, drink your water. A little bit less intensity. So we can breathe a little bit more freely. Drink your water. Your next exercise is gonna be single leg deadlift standing neutral grip row. All on one side. And then on the second one, we're gonna do the other leg and change the position of the grip for the row. 
Come up. Draw the elbows, guys. A little bit more closer to each other at the back. Soften your knee. Find the balance. If you are a very beginner, you don't have to lift the foot off the ground. Just keep the foot constantly on the floor and do your deadlifts. That's it, a lot of balance, a lot of core work here for sure. All right, let's commit for the best form, best commitment, perseverance for the best results ever. And tell me who is responsible for the results? Say I, because we're all responsible for our own results, own lives, failures or success. All right, try some. It would be nice to blame someone, but we always know who to blame. Come on back. And if we did some mistakes in the past, that doesn't matter. We can always start with a new page, with a new blank page without contemplation. The same thing, but we're gonna do the wide grip. Roll on the way back, and we're changing the legs on the position. Notice the difference in the balance. Right and left. That is great. This is my challenging leg, as always. It's keep changing slowly, getting stronger, better balance, but it's still my weaker side for the balance. All right, that's it. On your deadlift, guys, pull the stomach in. Do not drop the shoulders. Rib cage wide, collarbones wide. We got this. Push and pull. Control, control, control. Control the form. That is great. We almost threw this one. The third exercise in this block is very exciting. I really love it. I'm gonna keep a secret for a few more seconds. All right, come on down, your tricep. All right, guys, your next exercise is your deadlift, regular one. We come up and we do the angel. If you do have shoulder injuries, guys, don't bring your angel all the way through overhead. Stop in 90 degrees. Are you ready? Soft knees for the deadlift. Three, guys, two, one, here we go. That's it. You can go a little bit slower than I go if you have to. This is a challenging exercise. But keep the good form. All the way, finish the angel. Soft knees, deadlift, weight into the heels. That's it. All the way, rotate the dumbbells. Angel, back to the deadlift. We've got this team. That's it. We almost through already. Block number three. Out of six with a hit style before our Pilates. All right, no pain, no gain. Let's go. That's it. Don't quit, guys, don't quit. Few more seconds left till the very end. That's it. Let's recover for 30 seconds and it's gonna be a little bit longer break to drink our water. The next block is standing. Core balance in the back exercises. Total upper body workout. Challenging, so you can choose to opt out of your dumbbells. We will begin on one-sided, guys. Warrior three position. We're gonna to be top arm and leg, holding your dumbbells. And it's all on one side only. Keep another dumbbell handy, guys, so it keeps you in balance. So if your left arm, then right leg. Here we go. I know, I know. Soften your supportive knee. This is a challenger. You really need to use your back, not just that arm. 
and by lifting your leg, you definitely activate an even more surface of your back and obliques. Let's go. Don't quit, guys. On exhalation, lift on exhalation, you will have more power to lift that arm. On exhalation, choose to drop the weight and finish it strong. Almost there. Do not quit. We finished together, last one. That was super challenging, I must say that. All right, come on down. On your plank, guys. Kneeling position plank. Make sure you pull your stomach in and you're not staying in the tabletop for the tricep. Chest right in between the hands. All right, keep the other dumbbell, guys, on the hand for the counterbalance so you don't lose your stability and control in the movement. Here we go. Bend over. Soften your knee, your supportive knee. And you're gonna keep it soft, guys. That's it. We got this. A little bit higher arm lift. Switch your weights, guys, for the lighter ones. If you have to, breathe. Try not to throw the arm. Lift, release, control. Lift, release, control. We got this, guys. All right, champions. Come on, superstars. Leave me a comment below how you did this one. My upper body is crushing. And my leg, quite frankly, as well. With this eight pounder. One more. We did it, we did it. All the way. Your next exercise is gonna be standing as well. Let's do our tricep. That's gonna be your overhead press. Just one pull one, then one side rotation punch. Use the strings of the upper body, guys. Do your best. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's work. Push it, rotate overhead. Push. Overhead. Push. We've got this one. That's it. That's perfect. The hardest part is almost behind, guys. Shit. Almost there. A few seconds left, guys. Don't trap that arm. Let's recover for 30 seconds. Excellent, guys. Block number four is officially complete. Your next block, guys, is gonna be standing as well. So let's complete our tricep. Oh, that's so hard after this exercise. Come on back. All right, so drink your water. Your next exercise is gonna be one-sided, is a standing slopes with overhead press as an option. Drink a lot of water. Come up, team. Your overhead is optional. Straight to the lateral side. All the way deeper, guys. Try not to fall forward. Your extending arm in your overhead press, right above your head. And your bottom arm sliding right along that leg on the side. That's it. Push it, push it, push it, push it. We've got this. Perfect. Opt out of the overhead. And just do it 
like this, just your slopes. We're gonna finish it together. Almost through. Your obliques, your upper back, middle back, and lower back, guys. Keep your balance. That's it. Almost through. Few seconds left. Do not quit. All the way to the side. And last one. We got this. All right. Come on down for your tricep. We're gonna do the other side exactly the same way. Chest right in between your hands. Your arms gonna be on fire today and tomorrow. Last one. All right, guys, hurry up so you don't miss even a second of the workout because only one minute work on the position. Three, two, one, let's begin. That is perfect. All the way through the waistline. It doesn't matter how deep you can bend into your lateral band, but the quality, guys. Don't throw the upper dumbbell as well. All the way and drive it back. That's it. Drive it back using the shoulders and lats. That's it. Try not to lean and rely on that side leg as well. Slightly off that leg, guys. If it's touching a little bit, that's okay. But try not to use it as a support to come back up. We got this. We have only a few precious seconds left. We almost threw the block number five out of the six for the hit style. All right, let's finish it together. Last one. Excellent. Tricep as an option, guys. Your next exercise is gonna be standing. We're gonna go, guys, for the warrior three. We will alternate the sides. And then one arm, wide grip, standing row, like this, after your warrior. We will alternate the sides. Three, guys, two, single leg. Come on up. That's it. That lift in the warrior, lift, pull it, push, repeat. Lift, pull, push, repeat. Back, lift right with me. That's it, come on. Back, let's go. We've got this one. Back. You can opt out of the single leg and do just the deadlift. But this is more powerful and targeting your legs, glutes as well as your upper body. Don't drop your shoulders. Keep your shoulder blades connected. Once you descend, lead up with the chest. Reach, pull, push with control. Let's finish this one. This is the last one. I'm so proud of you guys. All right, dumbbells back. Try to push up to polish it. And we have final block left. Can you believe this? Final block for the hip style. And then we have a quick and effective Pilates session. Main focus is the back. But of course, it's gonna be the full body encompassing session. But we're gonna focus a lot on the upper body exercises. Drink your water. Your next exercise is your skier to angel. We finish over hat and we go for the angel. Get ready. Three, two, one, work. All right, this was a modification for my beginners or if you have a back injuries, do just overhead press. Take a look again, just like this. Instead, your angel arms. I'm gonna stick with the angel. Harder one. All the way. We got this one all the way back. Hit it. Push and pull, come on, guys. That's it. Reach. All the way back. Go, 
go, go, go, go, go, go. That's perfect. This is the challenger. Last one. We got this. All right. Your next exercise, guys, is gonna be your rear lunge, high pull simultaneously. Then you come up for the half of the skier. All right, you've seen your demo, so you're gonna go right here and the half of the skier, then we do the other side. Get ready, set, here we go. Halfway, other leg, guys. Watch your lunges, pump those arms, really good. Other side, you've got this. Watch the lunges, knee behind your toes on the front leg. Try not to pull with your wrist. It's a challenging exercise with eight pounds. That's perfect. Pump it. That's great. All the way. Stay with me till the very last second. That's it. Higher and pump it. Last one. That was brutal. All right. Your final exercise is gonna be in your plane, guys. We're gonna be doing single arm roll to a kickback. Because we're doing it in a plank or in a plank on the knees, your core and back will be on fire. Come on down. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two. Other side. That's it. One, two. If you can't hold your hands on the dumbbells all the time, try to do it on your knees or do for 30 seconds. One arm, then switch. That's it. Come on, guys. Row, kick. All the way, don't stop. Row, kick. Stay with me. Row, kick. Don't quit. This is our final exercise of this block and final for the hit. Hit style strings for that back. Few more seconds. We got this. Finish it. Finish it. All right, superstars. Last one. You've got this. We did it. We did it together. All right, final tricep. Nobody free us from this one. Come on down. All the way. Give me just a few more. Push it through. Couple more, guys. Last one. Come on back. All right. Amazing work, guys. So let's drink our water. I'm gonna rock my weights. Take your shoes off. And let's meet for the mud pilates portion. All right, guys, we worked so hard for the last 30 minutes, so it's time to slow down and have our amazing Pilates portion. We will begin this quick Pilates session on our kneeling position in a tabletop. Let's begin with a good quality stretches first. We did work really hard with those dumbbells. So go ahead and do a few cat and cows. Make sure that you set your wrist underneath the shoulders and express into your movements, guys. This session is gonna be focused on the back and upper body exercises in general, but of course we will target entire body as always, one more. All right, amazing. We're gonna go for the arms and legs extension in the balancing tabletop, and we will begin with an eight count for each side. Lean all the way and extend, one. Lengthen in, two. Nice and long, guys. 
three. If you're very beginner, four, do just arm or leg if you can hold the balance yet. Five, nice and long guys. Six, like you're trying to reach the different sides of the room. Seven, and one more guys, we're gonna hold it. We will be holding it. It's challenging after this sweaty heat workout with weights, but we're gonna do it. We're ready for pulls, guys. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Pull the stomach in and switch around the spine and relax your neck. All right, other side. Let's do a couple more cat and cows. Get ready on the position and we're ready for extension opposite direction lengthen in and take it, take it back two point your toes guys on exhalation three you've got it functional workouts four the workouts will which gives us a noticeable result and transformation five 90 degrees guys six seven Get ready to hold in eight. Scoop the stomach in, point your toes. Nice and extended arms and legs pump. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We've got this all the way back. Round that spine. And just a couple more times and relax. Do it again, guys. Round. And take it back up. We're gonna go and take our hands up front so it's a kneeling position for the plank and all we're gonna do we're going to step out our arms to the side step out push back do it again guys step out just the half of the foot push down do your best again try not to drop the stomach three back together guys four Back. We have only four like this left. One. And back. Wider. Elbows out. Just in between. Two more. One. Two. And last one, guys. All the way. Back. Down. Center. Excellent. We're gonna go for the prone position. So we're gonna lay down. We will begin with a one arm extension. Then we're gonna add two arms and two legs. Then we're gonna turn into a little bit more recovery exercise, which is a spinal extension up with support. And then we're gonna do our swimmer. All right, keep your feet on the floor for now. And we're ready to do just one arm and one leg at a time. Reach and hold for four, three, two guys. And switch guys, reach and hold. Four, three, two, take it back. Reach and hold. Four, three, nice and long. So we're not just lifting, but we extend in as well, all the way, just like you want to take that arm and that leg outside of the body. And reach and hold. Four, three, two, and reach and hold. We have only two repetitions left, one from each side. And again, guys. Reach and hold and lengthen in. And again, stomach on the floor. Reach and hold and lengthen in. Take your hands on the floor. Rest. Excellent. All right, we're gonna go for two arms and two legs at the same time, almost like an upside down boat. We can call it in a yoga practice. But if you can't do that yet, then just do one at a time. Repeat what we just did. Point your toes, activate those arms. Here we go. Four, and three, and two. Lean forward, put your forehead on the floor. Let's go. Four, and three, and two. Here we go. That's it. Let's go. Four, and three, and two. That's it. We're almost halfway through. We have only four repetitions left after this. Take it back, activate your spine, guys. Body as a unit, long extended arms above the floor. Activate your lower back to lift your legs. We have three to go. Four, and three, and two, and back. Come on up, and four, 
and three and two come on back down let's go and four and three and two come back excellent and four guys last one three two take your hands back and come up four three elbows in two lift and express with the heart come back down nice and slow we have seven to go reach up all the way expand with control and back guys down down that's it come on up 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 great work and back slow slow with control we have only five to go together reach and back Body starts to slow down and then recover after this intense workout, but we still continue to work on this back. All right, let's talk a little bit while we're doing these slow moving exercises. Then our brain can sink a little bit as well. Let's talk a little bit about commitment and what's happened if we slip down from our schedule. It's a big topic, a lot of you asking about it, how to hop in back into the routine. Just hop in. This is an answer. Last one, guys. Don't contemplate if you missed a few workouts, if you missed a week or a month, do whatever things happened in your life. Just always remember your health is your number one priority and just hop back without contemplation. Just like nothing happened, start to do what you know you have to do. Back to the good, healthy, nurturing diet, back to your workouts. All right, guys, swimmer. We're not gonna do it fast. We're gonna do fast enough to make a difference between the hold and bring it back what we did before. We're gonna do 32. We do it together on the position. Ready, set, here we go. One, two, three, four. Long, extended arms and legs, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 16 left, guys. Eight, seven, six, long extended arms. Five, six, seven, and again, guys. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up and straight all the way. Let's make our transition to the cat and cow again. Round the spine. Relax your neck. And one more time. All right, we have the challenge and exercise couple of them actually we're gonna go for the dolphin plank roll over heels almost like a corkscrew uh, we're gonna add a little bit the hips so we target the lower back and waist and then we're gonna do the dolphin plank side leg tap out all right come on down all the way and we're ready you rock not only your heels but you rock your hips as well and take it back and outside and take it back great job and outside and take it back and hips and heels and hips all the way just like you do your corkscrew and down we have only four to go together guys four take it back three take it back two take it back last one take it back knees on the floor Shift your hips back. Excellent. We're gonna have our dolphin plank and side leg tap out. So come on down. If you cannot do that, you can stay on the regular plank without doing a dolphin one. You can also put your knees on the ground. So we stay right here. This is a great exercise for lower back, core, stability control, and of course your obliques. Here we go. Seven and six and five. Focus on stability on the plank. Four. Don't drop the belly. Three. Two. Last one. Tim. Last one. So proud of you. Take your hips back. Forehead on the ground. All right. We're gonna do one more set before we turn around for the roll as a ball and roll out in the bridge. 
We're gonna do one more set of the push-ups and we're gonna add a leg tap out. To make it more doable, we're gonna do it on the knees. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna find your kneeling position for the plank so it's not in a tabletop. You're gonna lean forward so on your push-up, your chest is gonna go straight in between your hands. Then you're gonna go one, two, three, four. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's do it. One, to extend your leg and as far as you can. So you activate your obliques and your lower back, your external and internal obliques, and of course, your abs as well. All the way. If it's not as far away, close to your hands, that's okay. It will come. Just do your best for now. We have four left, guys. Touch. Full quality plank push up. Touch. We have only two to go. One. Touch. Last one. One. Two. Touch. Excellent. All right. We're ready to do our transfer to the roll as a ball. Come on down. We will massage our back. Our upper body worked so hard today. So again, if you are a beginner, guys, you don't have to hold the balance above the floor. Once you come back, you can tap the floor with the toes and it's for everybody. Sometimes we lose the balance. You can also hold on on the ankles. That's going to prevent you from throwing your feet up and down. We don't want to do that. A little bit more challenging variation is to put your hands underneath your inner thighs whether you're holding it here or here, send your elbows outside, don't smash the shoulders. It's nice and open position and then curl it in slightly. Ready, set, here we go. One, tap the floor, my beginners. Two, oh, that feels so good for the back. Three, make sure guys, you do not roll on your neck. Four, five, I don't want it to stop. Six, seven, and one more, and eight. Beautiful. We're gonna go over the rollovers. So your rollover, guys, can be just done halfway through or with your knees bent. So if you're not ready for the full legs behind the head, or if you're doing this, but you feel that your neck cannot handle it, do it halfway, legs up over the ceiling, or just hand over somewhere in between the top and the full bottom, and then come back. Today we're gonna do, we'll begin with the rollovers. We do four of them. Then we're gonna turn the rollover to the seated back extension. We're gonna be reaching to the toes on the seated position, and we'll do another eight like this. So get ready, point your toes, and let's do it. That feels so good after this intense dumbbell workout. Bring your legs back, flex your feet, and reach. Try not to throw your legs up. Deliver it with control. On exhalation, we have one more team. One more. Lift point. On exhalation, release. On the next one, we will do our best to roll up simultaneously and do our seated back extension. Coming up, reach, and fold. We're not folding like we're folding in a yoga. We're trying to reach forward. Come on back, point your toes, roll it up, lift, and lengthen in just like you hover above those legs. That's it. Come on back. I keep sliding, reach, and all right, let's go. Excellent form. Come on up. In forward. We have only four to go, everybody. Back. Lower, slower is better, right? If you can follow my rhythm, this is okay. Just go a little bit slower and you will do a little bit less reps, which is totally fine. I don't want your form to suffer. Your form as always, you are number one priority. That's right. We have one more after this one. 
All right, we did a lot of work today for that upper body and not only upper body, of course. Come on up, reach. And hold it, guys. Now grab your feet, if you can reach your feet. Grab your ankles, you can grab anywhere else. And we're holding it for four, three, two, and come on back. Pull your feet closer to the base of your body. Come on down with me. And we're gonna do a few Pilates bridges just to release the tension from the back. Do some windmill with the knees. And I will let you go for today after a few more extra straightening exercises. All right, put your hands on the floor and lift your hips up. Make sure there is no pressure on your neck, everything in your shoulder blades and, and between them. Keep on breathing, lift and hold. Four, three, two, and slowly, vertebra by vertebra, back down. On the next one, we're going to lift the hips and as an option, you're gonna take your one arm on the side, guys, with me. In four, press your heels into the ground. Three, two, you've got this. Arms on the side. That feels amazing. Four, guys. Three, two, slowly back, vertebra by vertebra. And return that arm back. We're gonna do one more time from the other side or choose to opt out of the arms and just give your bridge a good quality form. Lift, before you take your arm on the side, check that there is no weight on your neck. Take the arm on the side, continue to bring your glutes together, squeeze them, activate the glutes. Strong upper body, strong core, powerhouse. Breathe actively, come on back slowly, vertebra by vertebra. And we're gonna take both arms on the side, do a little windshield as I promised, just a few more extra movements for the lower back to make it feel good. That back truly deserve it today. Our body truly deserve a good quality stretches, good quality of food, and good quality rest at the end of the day and good quality sleep, which is so important for muscle recovery, for brain recovery, for body recovery, for longevity, for your metabolic rate. That's very important. All right, let's go ahead and grab your one leg, one knee. Press your quadricep up towards your belly. Hold it with me for four. And three. And two. Go ahead and stretch that leg. And reach up. We're holding it for four. With three, four, two, and let's switch, guys. Draw the quadricep towards your belly, right up here. Hold it, you may close your eyes if it feels good. The hard part is definitely behind. Now we set our day for success, for the win, for super achievements, because we can do whatever we put our mind in, guys because all the strengths, all the passion, all the transformation starts within. Be, do, have. We become inside strong, independent, and then slowly that transforms to our actions and our actions to our results. Come on up. Let's make a transfer back to our kneeling position, just where we started this session. Open up, inhalation, and exhalation, tuck your toes, straight your one leg at a time, then bend your another knee. Make sure that you press your hands into the floor. And one more. Excellent. Come back up. Take yourself a little bit wider stance. Reach all the way up on exhalation. Please yes, squat. Reach all the way scoop. On exhalation, again, set your mind for success, for transformation, for health, and for ability to give and to help others. Excellent work, everybody. Rest well, and I will see you all tomorrow.